Hey everyone, it's Blue Dragon Gaming here for a brand new video. Please give us the heat drop over there. We got a bit of a problem with our boiler. But, <clears throat> yes, let's have a look into the brand new Eldari Codex. Now, I've had this for. Well, it was delivered yesterday. I ordered it for the pre orders and it only arrived yesterday. So, I've only had a day to actually look through it. So, um, yeah. First thing before we do anything else, this guy right here. You cannot build. <laughs> yeah, I know. Games Workshop has been a bit mean. But they put a brand new model on the front. The new Archon. That if you've seen mine, I've gone with the Spear, Fire Dragon Gun, and the Flag. Which I want to get another one of these. They are some separately. But then have them as the... One half that. I'm going to have the Whoop Spider Weapon Blair. With the Jump Pack and a, and a Chain Sword. Just to have it a bit more, a mm, bit better. Because I fancy the chainsaw version with the spider ability to jump forward. Then I'm going to get one of these just to have the wing figuration. Then I'm going to get another one then for the dark reaper weapon. I'm making the other spear. Because you can't have this, you can't do this configuration. It's evil. Like, you can have the wings. But you must have, what's it now, Um, a sword... And a pistol. You are. But then if you want the spear. And this gun. You have to have the one that's on two feet. Without the. Well the one who's standing upright. Even with the wall patch generator and all that. Um, I have to admit. When I've been reading for this. I've got a lot of bad things. About it that I didn't notice. Which has kind of made my Eldari list. Kind of redundant. But I was able to work through it because I've got a match with these this week against my brother's Drakari. So it'd be Eldar vs Drakari. That'd be a brilliant match, I'm going to say. Especially with all these new rules. And some of the counters to Drakari are in this book. So this is going to be some fun. Because there is some, there is like one or two rules that I've noticed which counter Drakari, which are absolutely broken. But yeah, let's go through it. Well, thanks to this codex, I've now got my rules for Inyad. And Harlequin's also in this, so um, if you're looking in for these, please check out these parts. Um, open up. So we got a bit about the Eldari. I do have the dice, by the way, and that's the sick symbol. I love it. Um, a bit of lore. Um, the Eldar. A bit of information about them. If you want to pause the video, you can have a read through in your own time. Um... The fall of the Eldar, so basically, um, if you guys don't know about the law, the Eldar were a star span empire created by a race called the Old Ones during the War of Her Heaven, yeah. Heron? Heaven, <laughs> against the Necron tier, which later on became the Necrons. Um, the Necrons fell asleep, so these guys ruled the galaxy, fighting off the Orcs, who were their allies during the War in Heaven, who became a bit more hidden, well, became a bit more stupider i have to say they became stupid they've been watching too many karen videos so that's what i gotta say <laughs> so yeah um so yeah the eldari became a bit more of a st s solitaire race they controlled like at least half the galaxy when humanity was just starting out um they had the entire top half the galaxy the bomb half yet had a couple of Eldari spots, but they weren't fully integrated in that area. They had made friends of local alien races and had trade relations. Um, But in the fall, it turned out the Eldari got more hedonistic and loved to have murder orgies. I have to admit that. Because it's acting the Lord's... They, they got more sadistic and got more um hedonistic. Which caused birth of Sinesh, who made the war well, made the warp tear known as the Eye of Terror, which swallowed up the Eldari homeworlds. But what's left of the Eldari are on craft worlds, which I will go into when we get to that page. So here's the craft worlds. Craft worlds are massive ships. They're created as ambassadors, trading, or ambassador trading, and and basically a city ship. These things are massive, you look at them. These things are like hot, well, double the size of any Imperial ship. Even the Emperor class battleship. That's what they basically count them as the Emperor class battleship, which is like the McCrag's Honor, the Will of the Emperor, which is 
like two major ones in the in the war law these two ships are like literally about yay well see this bit or see like see this bit across they're about that wide but then a warship by it's like literally like what's um about that much of the page would be an imperial ship that's how big this thing is this is just the underside of the back end and then a couple of Eldari fighters return back to their ports. Um, craft world hosts, as you know, there are many different craft world abilities, such as the Guardian host. Um, the, the Azani paths. So we have, that's a Ranger, Banshee, I think that's a Psyche. So we have the Path of the Outcast, Path of the Warrior, Path of the Seer. So, um, was that? Path of the Exile and Path... The Exiles and the Phoenix Lords. So, these two are more... In, well, going more depth when we see the um, Aspect Warriors. So, Path of the Outcast, Path of the Warrior, Path of the Seer. So, these three paths are, like, something, like, brilliant. But there are extra ones, such as the Path of the Inari and the Path of the Harlequins, which are the extra ones, and the Path of Drakari, which are the multiple different ones, because it's, like free actors but they're like set factions of the elder the outcasts normally are rangers um corsairs are in this bit warriors are like your howling banshees and um, basically what your army's gonna be made out of is warrior path and your psychics and all that is the path of the seer which are four models which are psychic a no five models because there's a seer warlock Oh no, this going to a Seer, Warlock, and um, Farseer, Spell, um, Wraith Seer, um, Spell Seer, and then he Hemlock Wraith Fighter, which is like five mo what, five different models, because I say like, one's a Wraith Construct, one's a plane, the other three are standalone characters, it's like one's a flyer, one's a, um, I believe it's an elite option, and the other three are basic HQs. So, we'll go over those in there. So, here's some of the craft worlds. We have um, Craft World Umfwe. These are, this is Eldred Umfran's um, bit, which is this guy. He's quite prevalent in the lore. Well known for the for helping out Inyad. He's well known for um, quite a big lot of things in the Warm lore, such as Awaken the um, Eldari God of the Dead, in the he has been known to he's um messed around with the imperium he's messed around with the Drakari. he's a pretty good guy but he's been kicked out of his own craft world which i find kind of weird because it's like this faction alone has three different ways to build it because you can do it the outcast way which is him and a bunch of guys um a bunch of warlocks and seers and then have a bunch of troops which is the main craft world or you have um, a third one, which is just basic warriors and only a couple of psychers, which is completely confusing, but it's fun. Um, Aleatok. Aleatok are basically the, the are like, um, oh, how can I say it? The Catachans for the Imperial Guard. But these are the Eldari versions. They're like rangers. They're well known for rangers, but they are quite of a um snipey from the shadows and attack you smallly. That's what basically this to tell you about. So all they talk are kind of like you sneaky get, so special forces. Bill Tan is the list of the one I've gone with, which are the green aspect warriors. Which are the green ones? These guys love these guys, Dire Avengers, and all the rest of the aspect shrines, which I'll go over later. We look at the aspects on the page. Um, built on all about heavy amount of warriors, heavy amount of X, but of um, all uh, <laughs> what are they called? Aspect warriors. Sorry, and look at these venoms. Oh, sorry, not venoms. Um, wave serpents. I've got one of these, and they're dropping out these guys on top of Gene Circle, which is kind of nice. Um, Iandin, Iandin are Rafe. Orientated, they'll literally love these guys. They're like Wraith Constructs, Wraith Knights, Wraith Lords, Wraith Seers, and Wraith Guardians, and um, Blade Guard. 
which are brilliant these guys are i will admit absolutely brilliant um sam han which is the um fast tack one they basically like the jack to, oh jack deck on the white scars you guys love the white scars and you want to eldar these are your ones they're fast they love bikes um the main three what well, they are five unit units with with bikes which are um a, a archon on bike a fastener on bike and a warlock on bike which are three characters um this is a warlock on bike um sky weavers which are the basic troop with the basic bike units with the guns which are these guys and then you have shadow seers which just came in the new box i have got a couple of my build town army they sniper they're basically rangers on bikes and they get minus well plus one to cover because they're cloaks and they're really difficult to shift when you get them behind cover because that means they get plus one to cover well, then they was a light cover comes heavy cover means they get minus one to be shot at because of cover stacks in the game if you guys didn't know that cover does stack in 40k um so it's like light cover becomes heavy cover if you've got plus one to cover which i do because of the cloak and um but then you say something, something goes oh yeah ignore light cover so that means you only get light cover because you're behind walls but only one of them could be cancelled out because i've got a dense cover it makes me have light cover because i take cause it basically i can light cover light cover again because it's heavy cover um, but then I can turn heavy cover into dense cover, means I can't be shot up because I'm that sneaky. It means they can't see me that well in the building. <laughs> Trust me, I've broken games because, well, I've literally hidden the building, no one could shoot at me, and my snipers kept them, well, pop, well. The last game I've done with these was a Titan fight that it was, um, was it now? Um, Mechanicus and Ultra, Mechanicus and Ultramarines versus... Orcs and Eldar. I had a Wraith Knight. I had bikes all done foot behind a wall. They're getting heavy cover. Even though they even though both ways because it was an obstacle, it got light cover plus the extra bit because I had light cover. So made heavy cover means I was minus one to hit and minus one to and plus one to my arm save, so I was broken because I had a four I had four up normally, it got a three up because of the cover. It was kinda of break it was kinda of broken. It was not as bad as the Stomper who survived the entire game. I'm <laughs> like, well, the Stomper kind of died with 40 odd wounds where Wraith Knight blew itself up and killed for, um, an engine seer and a couple of my guys, but it did wound an Imperial Knight, which was kind of fun. So, um, yeah, so the next bit are the um, Warrior Stars. So, oh no, these just the Im images, these like extra ones, like. If you want to have a bit more fun creating your things, so Warrior of the Stars, um, Aspect, Ironden. Oh, I oh, can't even speak these. If you can read, if you guys can understand these, I really don't have a clue. I think these like symbols you can add to you guys. So I recognize that you can have on some of you guys and that and that and that. I know most of these from what they do. Um, There he is, the brand new Avatar King kicking a Keeper Secrets are backside because well, where I read through his rules, he's kind of broken. He's almost like tan shot, but I really wish. Do you know his weapon that he has? Now, he, now all the weapons, such as the axe, the sword, and spear, all have the same profile. I can't explain it. He's got one profile for a melee weapon, but he doesn't have anything else, which is kind of weird. But then. Yeah, he is the avatar of Cain. He was created from the Eldari God of the Death. When he was shattered, they were spent to the craft worlds. Um, but yeah, but there was another thing I wanted. His weapons. I should say, they would. I would say, I would really like to see them have the same rule as like the Nightbringer can. Which is ignore. Um, you must take this. Um, ignores all, all rules which deduct wounds uh all rules who stop you from, all wounds was it all rules which stop you from taking minimum amount of wounds or some well basically the night brings blade because it makes you stop makes you stop take it makes you take all wounds no matter what if you're playing gasgo you must take maximum even though he has a minimum of four they ignore that rule 
and there's a Drakari weapon that also does, and Drakari can also do it with their spike guns as well, which is kind of broken. But I would love to see that on the Avatar King, so that means he can go up against the Nightbringer and actually thrash him properly, rather than like, oh yeah, I can I can take away your ability, but you can't take away mine. So the Eldar would need something like that. If Games Workshop do watch this, please add that um FAQ that. I would love to have that on his weapon, to have the ability to knock out the Nightbringer like he did in lore. Because at the moment, the Nightbringer is the, is the most awkward Katan shot out there to beat. Like, I was able to kill it because I was I was able to kill it once with my sisters only because Morgan Ra got in there and was able to get first turn to kill. First turn to actually get in there and damage him. I was, well, I was able to kill him before he killed my Morgan Va Ra, well, Morgan Val, even though he was getting living metal and all that, which is broken. But please give Kane it. Kane needs it. <laughs> And it would actually make sense with the law wise that he gets that role because he has because he's the reason why um the Kata the Katan of the Nightbringer is in shards. So here we are, just as like I said earlier, we are now looking at the Aspect Warriors. So there are nine leads in total. I have currently have three of the nine, but I'm wishing to get the other. So first one, Dire Avengers, the basic one. Uh the Phoenix Lord, this was the original Phoenix Lord. He taught all the rest. Um, he did, and his daughter is a Phoenix Lord as well, which I will tell you which one it is because each one of these are students, but only one was his daughter in the law. Basically, he dubbed himself into Kane, and then it was all that. So, the Dire Avengers, Warp Spiders, Shine Spears, Handling Banshees, Sting Scorpions. Dark Reapers. Um, have I got another? Yeah, some. Wolf Spiders are basically hop around the galaxy, or hop against different places, and they move so fast. They're all about close in. Well, by a close range. Sorry about this, guys. Um, Shining Spears are a bike unit. Are a fight given it. No one for getting up close and personal and shoot them with these really powerful lances. I will admit, stupidly powerful in the lore. Helen Banshees are the daughters of the. Well, his daughter became the head of Helen Banshee. Well, his daughter became the leader of well, adopted daughter. She became an aspect warrior and became the leader of the Helen Banshees, which are a close combat unit, which are all about. They scream when they go into battle, which. In the law, in the game's rules, you can't set defend. Neither can you fire Overwatch against these girls when when they charging into you, which I do say suits them. Sting Scorpions, them all about Mary and Ority did their Phoenix Lord. That basically the Phoenix Lord of these are constantly changing because they're always dying. But then, um, according to the law, is um when a new person dawns the armor of the Phoenix Lord. They become that because the Soul Stone Knit is the original Phoenix Lord. And he's constantly um he's constantly taking over the bodies of the people who wear them. Wear the armor. So yeah, so the memories, thoughts, and actions go into the mind well go and take off the body of the elder who's wearing it. Dark Reapers, anti tank. That's what I have to say. Anti tank. <laughs> fire dragons, uh fire well. Nets with fire based weapons, basically strength of nine guns. They're like nasty as hell. Uh, fire dragons are one of the most awesomest ones because they have red armor with an orange helmet, well, the yellow, bright yellow helmet, which makes them look nasty. Kind of like candle, basically. Super Norks, a fast attack would jump out the sky, so Raven, um, Raven Guard, watch yourselves. <laughs> and the final one. Now, this one really confused me because I was like, I can only count eight, but then when I looked this book, then I noticed the last one. Crimson Hunter. It's a plane. Yes, I know. It's a plane. It's a dark red. It always has to be dark red. Um, Crimson Hunters have this symbol on their wing, as you can see below there, just below the point. I My Hemlock Ray Factor, which is a psychic version, I had that instead of this, but then look how many guns it is. So, sorry about that, guys. 
<laughs> so yeah, um, next bit is these guys. Oh, a bit more images of how the different brief how they all look when they're together. Um, host of death. So basically, your reef lords, your reef garden, your reef knights. Honestly, they say these should be called reef reef knights, and they should meet the big ones, reef lords. The Harlequin's Knight. <laughs> um, students of the Laughing God. These guys have got many different things, which I'll go through when we get to their models. But these guys are awesome. I've seen a barrel port where these guys and my sisters even surrender against them, which I would say is bad. Um, a bit of their lore. A bit more about the masks. Um, the different... Houses, Harlequins, I think about going either the Frozen Star or the Midnight Sparrows, whichever one is better. Um, in Yard. Right. These guys got really tender floor, so I might go through these in a separate video. Because these guys are massive. They are now, um, so we have the Rain, one of the many characters of them. The Vizarch and the Archon, another god, the god of death. Um, um, so yes, yeah, the symbol, so you see the symbol death, with their own little symbol, the reef constructs, and then all that, with the host of death, and there goes all the rest. Um, Corsairs, right, Corsairs are kind of like pirates for Eldar, so each one has like different things, like void, void crusades, these guys go out. You first become traders or pirates. These guys are known to attack human, orc, anything. They can hold up, they're not just normal elder, they can be harlequins, or they can even be Drakari, dependent on the Corsair fleet. I see Corsair's got their own symbols, but each one looks brilliant. A uh, bit of images, so. Different models and all different images. See, so these are my ones built on them here next. Different turrets. Jane's Isle, she's the Phoenix Lord. Morgan Ra, two of the Phoenix Lords. That's the Dark Reaper and that's the Honey Banshees. Then we got Dire Avengers, Warp Spiders, Sting Scorpions, Fire Dragons, Swooping Hawks, and. Shining Spears, yeah, Shining Spears. So these are all different ones, and there they are. Because then you've got Stain Scorpions, Shining Spears, Dire Avengers, a Hemlock Wraith Fire, Dark Reapers, Fire Dragons. So it's basically what's our one Wolf Spires, Dire Avengers, there's one, two. Um, I just call them Shining Spears, three, Banshees, four. Warp Spider, um, Sting Scorpions, six, Fire Dragons, seven, um, Crimson Hunter is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Dark Reapers, nine, Super Hawks, um, Heavy, Elite, no, Heavy, Heavy, Elite, Elite, no, Fast Tag, Faster, Elite, Elite, Fast, no, I have it. Um, I'm trying to remember which one these are. Elite, no. Elite, fast attack, fast attack. No, elite, 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 elite. Heavy, heavy, fast attack, fast attack, flyer. Um, a Rafe Knight. I do have one of these. My one has um, Biltan, so it's white Belair with like this symbol going to be in Belair. Because the rest of my Rafe Knight is green. So not like blue, it's like it's meant to be the main colour of the thing, but I did mine all green with the, with the white on, on the shoulder pads. That's um, silver. Oh, I've actually got my shield over here. So this is my Build Town one, which is green with the black with a silver shield. Just split it up a bit more. And this is the Mass Beauty Sword because I have it. Um, that is blue tack in there, by the way. So I like the blue tap mine on, so I actually make sure it moves to make sure, make sure it does stuff. I do um, soul stones on each of my, wherever I can put them on this thing. So as you can see, there's like red ones, blue, and a green one in the center. Um, 
So here they are. There's there's new bike unit and these new scouts. Um, these are the bike units I was on about, and that's the false seer. These are fire prisms. Um, they're the wraith guard, the war walkers, the built on shadow spire. I might get one of those just for fun. Bit more cane. There's all glory because you can have them for spear, sword, or an axe. Three different head combinations. These are the, well, there's a warlock, there's a farseer, that's an archon with death spinner, which is a swap spray ability, um, sting scrapping chainsword, and t jump generator, which is the wolf spider version. And Prince Ariel, which is a and in specialized character. Here's the Harlequin masks. So these look absolute gorgeous. Death Jester, Solitaire, and Spellseer. A Void Weaver and Star Weaver. So there's the two Harlequin vehicles. Um, uh, Ephraim. Sorry, you guys have gone. I've been typing today, so my hands are cramping up. Um, there's the Archon and him. Right. If you're doing these guys, I will admit. If you're doing these guys, um, all your character's head hel must not be helmeted. They must be different things. Or you can put them in with normal Eldar craft world if you want to. Um, these new models, these are the kill team for, um,. Eldar, this is the new kill team squad, which you can use. These are your Corsairs. So these are like the leader, and then you get all these different ones and different weapons. Like there is a Drakari weapon by there, Drakari weapon by there, Drakari weapon, Eldar, Eldar, Farsia, Ranger, Eldar, Eldar, Eldar. Uh, Eldar. So like each different weapon's different, so there's a massive huge bass here. See, Corsairs can be in with any other ones. Um, these guys, well, any, I would say this, any aspect words, unless you're in Yad, keep the normal Kel scheme. So they're absolutely awesome. So then pulls them out a bit. So, um, so, rules. If you guys want to read through them, you obviously can. Um, special rules, that's the patrol, touch, that's the patrol box. I might get this just for those, because I can get the rest of the stuff from my brother, I'll keep it for myself. Um, some more bits. Rules for each of the craft woods. Which have their own, like, wall of traits, special built and all that. Uh, special rules. Detachment, how they work, because that's an in detachment. So you meant to have with them. One Eldari plus one of either Drakari or Harlequin. How to have Drakari... Right. This means... Right. In this new rules, you can have Harlequin detachment with an Eldar detachment and you don't lose any rules. As long as it's only a small chunk of it, like have one HQ, one troop, one elite, one fast attack. Like this. Or one of... Or... Basically... See, like, you got a 2,000 point list. You're only allowed... See, like, you and, like, 2,500. So, for that, you can only have a 1,000 points of these. And the rest of it has to be this. But most of your army has to be this. Or you can do, like, half Harlequins, half Eldar. You don't lose any rules. You don't because of both of these having the Eldar keyword. And Harlequins normally align themselves with Craft World. So they don't, I don't think they lose any abilities, it's just these guys get to be put in the same attachments. Or you can go pure, um, let me pull them up. Or you can go pure Harlequin. Then you can have pure Harlequin with an Eldar separate attachment and you don't lose anything either. So you do it either way. But then Harlequins, you can also do this with a Drakari attachment and you don't get that, and you don't lose any rules either. So, relics. Um, <clears throat> stratagems. There are three pages of these, by the way, so. I'm not you guys. 
you can pause at any time if you want to read these. Like, see, these Harlequins, I believe the ones beforehand were... Oh, no, those were Eldar. Um, Eldar, so these, like, special rules, you can give them, like, the Wraith Fighters. These, like, basic upgrades you can give to your Phoenix Lords. So, Divenge, Swoops, Spires, Shining Spears, and Howling Banshees. Whoops, um, Steen Scorpions, Dire Vent, um, Dark Reapers, Fire Dragons, Super Hawks. Um, new powers for the Eldar, or for Harlequins, and abilities. If you want to do anything, just jester with the Lord of Crystal Bones. That's, like, nasty. There it is. Submit two from the enemy's movement characteristic to move zero, and they can't fire Overwatch or set to the... You can't fire Overwatch or set defend. And that could work for any unit, so you can just basically go... I'll have one of those, you shoot at them. Each time it's move, 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 hits a selected target unit at the vehicle or monster. Unless it's a vehicle or monster, the unit starts with your neck until the start of this unit until the start of your next turn gets submitted to from their movement characteristics and they can't fire over to set defend. <laughs> so basically, you can shoot to like something like. What's a nasty unit that you don't really want to have against you? Say, like, you're firing at... Oh, what would be a good nasty unit? The Nightbringer, for example. He's a character. He's not a vehicle. Neither is he a monster. Oh, is he? No, he's a character. No, as long as they don't have the vehicle monster keywords, so such as, like, you can't do it too... Um, long strike for the Talon Pikes. He's a tank character, means you can't give it to him, but then you can do it to um, who would be a good nasty character? A swarm lord, absolutely nasty creature, psychic powers. It has like I think it has like eight movement, so that means you're moving it down to six, it means he can't do that much. And his psychic powers, then his the, the ability range will actually affect him then for doing high mind. Or a Patriarch. Or a Gene Seal Cult unit. For Nasty Gun. Even though you were even nastier. Um, a couple more abilities. That's for the Solitaire and Farsia. That's for the Troop Master. He's like the leader of the thing. Um, right. Eldar. Mission rules. Harlequin. Mission rules. Some more relics. Sorry guys, but I have to keep my hands because I'm doing D and D tonight. Oh, I am sorry for my foot. I am sorry. <laughs> um, complex things. Eldar wall of traits, basic wall of traits. These are like power some. That's Eldar. That blur is no. These are Eldar. Both of these are Eldar. This is. Harlequin, I want to say? No, Eldar. These are Harlequins. And these are in Yad. So it's like different things, like. No, wait, these are all Eld Eld Eldar as well, they focus. Yeah, there's like different ones, but then. Harlequin should have sick powers, but I think they take these as well. Um, Crusade Rules. They're like a load of Crusade Rules in this for either one of the factions, like uh, Path of the Warrior, Path of the Seer, Path of the Outcast. Each one's got its own little bit, so I'll just look through this. Um, some more images, like the Harlequin stuff. Day sheets, um, right, here's new dice, so... This is for, uh, see, the fate. So you only get two, three, four, five. And then, uh, bar focus, there's this new bar focus rule. 
Oh, you don't care for dispelling for trouble. Bass. Bugger. Um, there are, like, extra keywords, like, things. Uh, King gets a 4-up inbound save, and so does Inyat. Both of them get a 4-up inbound save. They lose only max or 3 wounds per turn, and they can't take a Relic War trait. It's kind of broke. It's kind of right. Um, focus. Izani are in line here. It's going to have these. Um, basically, the dice mean how many you can have a turn. Um, it's the same thing for Death Jest. For Death Jest, it's the exact same. Dice results, so you re-roll. One advance, one charge, one psychic test, one hit roll, one wound, a wound roll, or a same throw. Pretend on the roll, so it's one, two, three, four, five, six. So it's kind of nice. Um, these are the Harlequin ones, such as um the Luck of the, of the Laughing Gods. You get the same amount. We roll 6d6, and each one has to be different when you roll these. So you, can roll, so you get two dice at the beginning. Can be we just go run you get those randomly roll them um but you always get those so those those two you can make whatever you want <laughs> then each turn at the beginning of each of your include zero do two right that is rolling we include the number of d6 up to d6 dice equipment so this one so you can add more each um each command phase so each command phase, you can roll this. You roll six, you're up to 66. So in addition to make the like, uh, laughing gods, gods roll each incur for an incursion number of dice roll gain. Uh, you do so with rolling up to 66. Every result equal gains a number. In addition, the lack of the rolling god equals each like only one hit. So that's what you do. There is a warning though. When you're doing this, if you roll, see like you got, see like you roll six and you have two, um, like the dice was one five, one six, one seven, no one, one six, one, one six, one five, one four, one three, one two, and another two. So that means you have two twos. That will go. You don't get any dice if you get doubles. It's kind of broken. It's kind of balanced it out. So that means you go, oh, yeah, I am rolling six dice, but there's a chance that I could lose all of it. So the lower rolls you do are better. So that means if you're rolling like two dice, I would say it's better. If you roll two dice, you know it's definitely going to be. You've got a low same chance of rolling the same. Okay. Sorry about that. Um, so yeah, we got the Avatar King. That's all his rules. By the way, this is all for every single one of his weapons. Walk in Doom. Um, these are his rules. Um, one thing I have noticed is... Ignore any modifiers to... There, here you are. Um, 12 inches combat. Avoid. Take... Uh, you will get to ignore any modifiers to... Wound. Or modify... Mod... Any modifiers you ignore. Blood God within six inches get to re-roll hit rolls against the unit. Four up in van save and he can only three wins a turn, as we said earlier. So Farsi and Bike is still HQ. Red Jar Bike, Farsi is still HQ. Eldrad Umf Undrad, which is a Farsi. He's good. Um Archons, Prince Ariel, Archon on Warbite, no, yeah, yeah, Archon, Archon Sky Ra Raider, and these are the Phoenix Lords, that's the Dire Avengers, Phoenix Lord, that's the Swooping Hawks, that's the Fire Dragons, and that's, of course, the Howling Banshees, Steam Scorpions, Dark Reapers, a sluice character for Rangers, a Spellseer, Rangers, Guardians, and Storm Guardians, all their new rules. These guys are also good. Um, there is a new rule, which is called Shuriken, which if you look there, right, the new Shuriken rule, if you do not know, is every time you hit on a sick, well, each time you... You roll, when you roll a dice to hit, 
Now you hit, then you wound. Every time you roll a six to wound, you get an extra two to your armor penetration. So say like, we take in sharpen, sharpen catapults, so the basic guns that they got for that. So they strength four minus one, one damage. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Now here comes Fumbe. You roll six, that becomes minus three, one damage. You're going through any, you go again, you got a death guard rolling on sixes. You got a space ring rolling on sixes. You've got a guardsman not having to save at all. You got a Drakari running for the hills. But those sixes are extra AP. Unless you build time, you're an aspect warrior, means you get exploding sixes as well. <laughs> means you're doing a world wound on top. Um. The new Crusade Void Raven, so these guys are good. They don't have a HQ option. But what I'm basically going to do is get. I've got a squad of these. Guess what then? Squad of these. And pick up a squad of these when they come out to singles. Because I might get two squads of them because they look awesome. Then I get the. Guess what then? You can get a squad of these because this one's like the character one. With all the extra bonuses. Um, here comes the bit I hate. Warlocks. Originally, if I go back, originally a HQ. Now they're elite. Why? Games Workshop. Just why? Like, okay, they are small psychers. They buff up Farseers when they're within um, an inch of that. They gain, um, you get plus one to your psychic test um, if you got a Farsia nearby. That's what they used to do, was basically buff up a Farsia when they're nearby. You can have one to six of them. I'm not complaining about that. You can have one to six of them in a unit. You can have one to three of them if they're on bikes. Which is brilliant. But one problem is, why would I why would I why would I choose that when it's in the same box as a Farsia on jet bike? For an elite option, when I could get a HQ for my army now. Like, what's the point? Like, yes, these guys are awesome. They've gone, what they know one like power. They ain't cast it as an elite option. They're badass, but why make them elite? Keep them in the HQ slot. Like, okay, it is weird to have like multiple like things. Like, having like, when you buy like three boxes of these and you get two in each box, like, it's rare to see one on their own. Like having like them have like oh yeah you can have two of these, so what? Uh, you can have without whichever armies have two of them in an army. Um, lieutenant. You can have two lieutenants in an attachment. Space Marines, but then do you make these elite? If you're gonna do that to the Eldar, do it to the Space Marines. If they if they if these are not HUs anymore, never lieutenants. They got multiple car multiple things in, in the unit. Dire Avengers now being a late is have a troop. Why? Unless you're gonna rewrite all your lore, why? Because these guys are the actual warriors of the craft world, not guardians. Are they? They are reservists. They are the true warriors. Like yeah, you can have four. You can like, these in a small squad are devastating. I won. I will admit, these are quite powerful. But then, the look of their look of their main stats, you wouldn't think it, but they are quite powerful. Because if you get a squad of ten of these with one of them having the star glaive, they're absolutely nasty. <laughs> Hello kitty, Nala. Psst, psst. Hello kitty. Yeah, my de my demon cat side. The Pop in, say hello. Um, so yeah. So next ones are the fire dragons. They are pretty nasty. Special strength 9 minus 4 d6 plus 2 damage. Huh. Nasty. Fiber invent. All of these guys get fiber invent if they're in aspect works. They've got aspect armor. Which is quite nice. Howling banshees. I um, will admit, I did go with the shuriken, just because of it gaining, you can make an additional two heads to the rope, to the rope, instead of one, yeah. Cause, no, wait, it's that one. Yeah, these two, because I like the main thing from. Um, 
Sting Scorpions. Um, Reef Blades, Reef Guard, Reef Lords. Which are these constructs. Um, blood, these guys get two, can have melee weapons, these ones are the shooting ones, and that one gets melee weapon and shooting. Um, Fire Runners, Swooping Hawks, Whoop Spiders, and Venoms. Oh, I thought they were fast out on Elite. Shine Spears and Shower Runners. Sorry, guys, I'm my cat. <sighs> War Walkers, Dark Reapers, Support Gun. I really want to Support Guns. Sorry, I'm thank my cat one sec. Falcons and Night Spinners. Night Night um Air Night Spears. I'm just going to botch that. Fire Prism Wait Serpent Um Crimson Hunter Hemlock Ray Final, I've got one of these. These are nasty. Don't know, one sec. Um, where is it going? Okay, the second power. It no smite. Plus one sec power, yeah. It can manifest one sec power and deny one. Pretty much they made it manifest two. Sorry, my, I'm, my cat's been evil. Um, Reef Knights, I've got one of these. These are brilliant because i done an average roll with this when I had it for the Reef Knight. Now, the Top Gun, you two of them. Phase 6 inches, heavy D3. Demon Cat. Sorry, guys. So, yeah. Let me change that. Sorry, right, see. Oh, that's bad. See, I was going to have to see this a bit more back. Someone talked about this one for a bit. Um, heavy Reef Cannons. 36 inches, D3 shots. Now you get two guns. Means you get to roll it twice. Because one of these gets two of these. So it means that you get a total of six shots maximum and two shots minimum. So I rolled this, I had four shots, which is midway. It means I was hit. I was doing at least two of these with the new L dot ice. So I was rolling them on a on a on a flat surface where I could do this properly. Strength sixteen, you hit everything on twos. Yeah, everything on twos because it's a uh, double eight. Yeah, minus four it was minus five, but I can't complain. Minus four, three d three damage, and you inflict d three mortal wounds on the target in addition. So I did this all hit. Ooh, wait, show them three is the hit all hit. Shot them at, um, did like, did normal, did like a normal, like, night throw, which is like fives to wound. Right, um, let me, let me get my dice. I put my phone down to six. And I'm sure you are ability. So, right. Um, so, two dice. Sorry about the. Oh. I'm sorry, guys. Right. So, two dice. So, D3. Um, so, I got three shots. Hitting on freeze. So it's a six. It's a one, so I lose that. Um hitting number twos. Both hit, no sixes. But then say like it was gonna roll out again just to see if I get six. Nope. See like I got a six. 
Um, right. Dead to D3 mortal wounds. To Shen, so I'm doing um, D3 mortal wounds. Three additional wounds. Right. So I got two hits, minus four. Means everything normally doesn't have save, but I'm gonna say I'll shoot another knight. So I'm pure knight of five up, save against shoot weapons, which this is. One fail, one pass. So currently I've got three mortal wounds. Now D3 plus six wounds. There, nine damage. Nine plus that, that's twelve damage. Means to a knight um, cast then, I've done it to 20. I've done it down to 16 damage to a knight warden. It's on half. So I've taken it down to half. Evil one. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. My cat's playing bo bollocks with these dice. But yeah, so. As you guys can see, because I'm literally, that was just my windowsill. As you can see, see how, dam how damage that is? I did 12 damage. Um, um I need to do it over here, so. See what I can do over here, because my cat's not there. Um, let me reroll that to make a bit more. But yeah, um, four shots. Hitting on freeze. Oh, God. No! Chaos God hit hit us then. Hit on freeze. Let me just make sure, like, see, like, all of them hit, but there. Wounded on twos. Now all of them hit. No more wounds. Which is, alright. That's not bad. Um, see, like, we're gonna do feeling the pain, so each one ends D6 plus, D3 plus 6. So, three, so it's nine, 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 nine. So it's triple nine. So it's nine, 18, plus another 18. So eight at eight is 16. 36 damage which to someone who's had see like they have feel no pains such as like Multarian we well, it's one from it so this would be so it's one per damage so one per dice so that means four from v6 is 32 ouch so it's 32 shots, which is a dead Primark. Damn, that's a dead knight. Now, say the fact we're going to do like. Oh, a stomper. Now, that thing's got 40 wounds. Um, That's four hits. Actually, um, let's do it like that. So I've got three shots. No, I've got full shots, which is six. Six shots. Hit him on freeze. Um, uh, re-roll those two. Yeah. So this is stomp, but let's just say, um, I get to re-roll. See, like, it's, yeah, like, command, well, I've done the dice, and I command point, and I can re-roll two dice, because I'm Eldar. Because the new rules they got means, basically, Eldar have the ability, you CP re-roll, but you get to do it twice instead of once per CP. So it's kind of broken. Say, like, got your car, and they make you, like, Pay like two clan points, you're literally paying for double rerolls, basically. Sorry. Strength eight, toughness sixteen, I'm hitting you on twos. So I'm hitting on twos. So all them hit. What an extra D three mortal wounds. Three wounds. Now Stompers don't have an Im they don't have an inventory, they don't have a female pain, they don't have anything. So that's three mortal wounds is taken. So it's bringing down 40 to 38. So D6 plus, D3 plus 6. That's 9. That's 7. 
That's seven. That's nine. That's nine. And that's eight. So, so seven, seven is 14. So we know that when Blair is 18. So seven plus four, so 18, that's 14. That's an extra nine plus seven. So nine plus seven is nine, 10, 11. So nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So that's 16, 18, 14. So um, six plus four is number 10. So plus the more wounds, which is an extra three. So right, we do this. So it's so it's six. So it's fourteen. Because if you do this, six plus one is seven. So it's fourteen. Fourteen plus six. So you have six fingers and add four, which is ten, which means that's thirty for there. That's thirty-three. Now the rate automatically going through. Well, that's thirty. So that's 30, means it's on 10 wounds remaining. That but there is 18. It's already dead. With 8 wounds over. And add the 3. It's basically done 48. But there, plus 3, 49, 50, 51 damage. That is... That's a stop the dead, but there, uh, stoppers don't get don't get a fill of pain. They don't get a invent. That's literally a dead stomper just from one Eldari gun. You see how broken this gun is? It's brilliant. It's an it's an actual night killer. This thing's meant that mega gun is meant for taking out itself and any other titan that's going against it. One problem is it does have 36 inch range as 12 inch means your radius of death is about 48 48 inches as a radius of death around you um i do have the ghost glaive and i do have the shield the shield gives me a four up in van if i take it yeah blush um scar shield four up in van then you have its sword so say like if it's going to do the sword so it gets five attacks so this is what i do against vehicle Five attacks, hitting on freeze. Can't fight rerolling that one roll. So there we are. So that's the roll. So hitting on freeze. Um, strength plus six to eight. So that means it's strength fourteen. I'm hitting. See, like we're doing hammerheads. Let's have a sense. I'm hitting on twos. Come on, point rerolling that. Sorry, that was cocked dice. Uh, that was five. So those all hit. Minus four. Nope. Yeah, minus four. So I rolled. So I'll say like all them, all these was hit. So minus four. Six flat damage. That's so six. Twelve. Eighteen. Eighteen. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 30. 30 damage. There it again. Dead knight. So you can see how broken that is. But I want to go back a bit to the wave serpent. Now, I didn't get a chance to read this until today, but then who gets time to read stuff when they got when you're working? <laughs> Is that true, guys? Um, but yeah, I know it's going on for quite a bit. Um, so yeah, so all these rules. So you're crystal talked in max. So I've added this on just like ten points. Each time this model makes a ranged attack, ignores the mod, ignores any or all modifiers to hit roll. So. Um, so like, hitting on freeze. Oh, well, you went up against a 
say we're going up against a Drakari Venom. So I'm going to do the Bright Lance standard shot. So it's good to two dice. So I should be hitting on fours. Because the Mark Buyer, because it's minus one hit. I know that. So I'd be hitting on threes. Both those hit. Instead of one hitting, one failing. Um, Wave Serpent Shield. Now this fun big is five invent save. Any wounds are one, two, one, two, three, miss. It does. And for any attacks failed, instead of this ability, the weapon model, 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 model makes the attack. Each time a range attack is made against this model, a model, yeah, it's basically it's ignored. Um, soul stones. Um, I can, um, this model counts as having double the number of wound result for the purpose of the damage for dealing with the da with do for the um progress of a damage when changing the profiles in use. So basically this thing has got sixteen wounds. So I double that whenever it comes into this. So basically it goes right I'm on Say example, I'm on eight wounds. I double it. I'm I'm on four wounds. I double it. I'm still in top bracket. I have three wounds. I'm on second bracket. I have one wound. Double it. Two. I'm still in bottom bracket. So only at one, only one, and two, only on one, I don't gain the brackets. I'm still in the same bracket as I'm on. But all the rest, I get literally the higher bracket. It's broken. Um, and just for free for Starlight Engines. Now I've added all these to my battle against brother. Because I'm free to the movement means that's now movement. Now it's 15 moves. Um, so it always has things. So it's movement of 16. So plus 3. That's now 19. <laughs> that's now broke. This thing's a killer. And um, void engines on the battle. Junior command phase. You can activate this. And so this unit can turn on the battle. So it gets battle focus. It does. For the rest of the turn. Warboy gate. Warboy gates are now playable. Element. When they first came out, it was like, Oh, yeah, you put the sunset the board as long as no one comes within, six in, within 12 inches of you, you can bring up models. Wow. That's unusable. Now, as long as you can bring stuff out of the webway and bring straight into combat. As long as they're without engagement range. As long as they're in between the two players and they're outside of engagement range, they can come out. And then you can charge in that turn. The minute they come out of webway during the charge phase. They're brilliant. Um, Troop Master, so these are the Eldari rules. Um, so this is where the Lactite come in. Um, guess Harlequin can have the keyword Harlequin's Kiss, Harlequin's um, Corsair, um, Kutch, or Harlequin Embrace. So it's like the specialist weapon, melee weapons be here. Which, am I still dear? What the? I haven't really looked at the Harlequin stuff, but yeah. So there's like awesome little abilities you can do with these. Which I'm kind of happy with. Um, the two ships. Right, wait a minute. I'm going to finish off this with like all of these. Like in yard. Quickly blanks over them. Um, all the new weapons. Different weapon options and different abilities. All the new points. So if you guys want to take a screenshot. These are all the new points for the Elder. All the new points for the Eldar. If you guys want to make a list. Harlequins. No, Eldar. Harlequins. All the new abilities. And then, no one can use the code because the code's already out. So, yes. So, my impression of the book. It's okay. I will admit. Like, changing Dire Avengers from a troop to an, to an elite is not a good idea. I would make games which that wasn't a good idea. Number two. Warlocks should be a HQ. Because think about, well, yes, okay, it helps oomph, it helps oomph way, uh, oomph way, uh, oomph way a bit, because oomph way are more psychic than they are basic, and you can only have minimum of three HQs in any attachment. I will admit, but then you got the flyer for that, but then you can only have two flyers. Mm. Which is kind of broken. 
which kind of doesn't help them. So I don't understand them making this, but I would say, why did you not make a psychic troop army? And then just go, oh, there's an um, there's a new Phoenix Lord, and this one specialized in psychics. That would be better. Like add in a new Phoenix Lord. Like we have not we nine. Why do we make a ten? Another Phoenix Lord. Just going. Oh yeah, we've trained. A new one has just been made of the Phoenix Lord. His powers are of psychic units who go out there and use their psychic powers to charge up their weapons to do more damage. That would be fun. Like give and then we can say like and give them like new psychic powers such as like um up, like you can put extra one ballistic of um or do like what's it called now the um internal master for thousand cents basically give them those basically give them those rules and then you'd be fine it'd be like phoenix lord with those powers of one of them so it means you roll in you get an extra plus because your psychic presence keeps those guys in check like they have psychic abilities they own no smite like um basic um room marines used to have they could oh no smite but then it'd be brilliant because that means you could have wizards on the board who are basic troops which would be great for something like bill um Umfway. it would be brilliant for biltan it'd be like a special bit but like Umfway has more of them like biltan is well known for having loads of scopic having um loads of lo loads of dire avengers so it'd be brilliant but yeah so i have to so yeah, thanks for watching this. So thank you for watching this video. Um, so that's my look at the Eldari Codex. Please like, subscribe for more content. I know this is a long video, more than what I've normally done. Plus I've shown like the new dice. So yeah, um, this did cost me about 56 pound odd. Or 56 pound 50 from Games Workshop. But yeah. Thank you for watching, and I'll like to see you guys next time when I do um, some Deepkin stuff for Age Sigma because I'm think well, I'm getting some more Deepkin stuff, and I'll do some bits of them. So thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and please keep on gaming. See you guys next time. Bye.